All right, guys, this is what I like to call tight end love, okay? The three best athletes on the team right here, Aaron Hernandez, Algie Crumpler, and the big guy, Rob Gronkowski. So I want to start with you, Algie. Um, in general, the tight end position, most people don't grow up wanting to be a tight end. How did this all start for you? My older brother. Okay. You know, he's a tight end. You would know. We played together. Yeah. My older brother, Carl Esther. Uh, He's a tall tight end, always caught the football. It was fun for me to have an opportunity to follow in his footsteps, and uh, I really enjoyed it. I really loved the position. Well, I always wanted to be a running back, and growing up, I was always a running back. And then coming to high school, we had a running back, so they, I asked to play receiver. They put me at receiver, and then I started gaining weight, gaining a little height, put me at tight end, and it just worked out from then on. Just when I first started, I always wanted to be like, uh, catch the ball. Uh, and I was I was too big for wide receiver, and we had all the other little guys out there when I was playing uh, like JV level. So they were just like, move you to tight end. That's perfect position. So that's how I started off there. Oh, it's worked out for all three of you. Now listen, you got the you got the nickname Grandpa. When you came in here, uh, they bring you in, and then they draft two young guys. Uh, was the mentor tag uh, automatically attached to you from the coaches, or did they say anything to you about what they were expecting from you? Well, I mean, I had a good idea. I mean, after um, Rob and Aaron were drafted, you know, coach called me and said, you know, we got some work to do, and you know, I just cherished that role, just come in and help these guys and 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 let them uh, evolve and grow and. And uh, I can't be more excited with how Rob and Aaron have contributed to this football team. Yeah, I want you guys, the young guys, to know how rare this is. And that's why I think, Algie, you're getting a lot of attention for what you're doing. Because this guy played in four Pro Bowls. What's the one thing that he's told you that, you've, that you take with you, uh, that you try to remember the most? Um, I'd say that uh, just doing the right thing, like Crumpler's one that every time I'm watching him, he's always doing the right thing. He's taking notes. He's paying attention. He's sitting up in his chair. He's, <laughs> he's not falling asleep? <laughs> no, he, he's just always doing the right thing. And, and he always knows what he has. And those type of players succeed in this league. And following him, I feel like I've already changed as a person and a football player. He uh, just leads by example with everything. And if you have any questions, I mean, I'm, I mean, with the football standpoint, like I'm out on the field and, I'll tell you, at some plays during the game, I'm going to the wrong side, and he's like, yo, Rob, you're over there. And I'm like, oh, man, I am. I'm jogging over to the, I got to run over to my other side and get in the right position. So he always know what's going on. And, he, uh, and that's football-wise and off the field, too. If we have any questions, we can go to him. And, yeah, he, he helps us all a lot and always has the answers. Did you know who Algie was? Did you ever see him play? And uh, what were your first impressions of him? Oh, of course. I mean, I always used to watch him, especially when he was in Atlanta, uh, making all those big plays and stuff. Uh, it was always cool. And then when I, when I uh, heard I got drafted here, I knew he was just signed here about three weeks ago. So I was like mad excited to uh, know that I'm going to be on the same team as LG Crumpler, who I always used to watch back in middle school and high school. Was, <laughs> <laughs> Sorry if I was dating you. Look at you. Uh, you look at these two guys, and uh, they each have a lot of skill. Yeah. Um, is there one thing that uh, you can take from each one of their game? You would say, "Hmm, I wish I could do that," or "I wish I had," "I wish I had his ability to do X." Or what would it be for for each guy? Uh, well, I mean, you can't cover Aaron in a phone booth. I mean, if if it's one on one coverage, it's over. I mean, and, and Rob, his size, you can't teach. There's not a defender in the National Football League that can cover the things that he has. So, you know, I, I wish I had a little more shake. I little, <laughs> wish I had a little more height. You know, it'd be great. For Crump, what would, was one thing that you could take from his game? Just uh, his mentality. Always, he's always ready to knock someone out, and like at all times, he's like, "Come on, I'm gonna <laughs> knock this guy out right now." And I'm like, "Oh yeah, man, it gets me hyped." I, I so his mentality is awesome. And his uh, drive and effort for every play is great. And with Aaron, man, you know the shake, and then like the jitter shakes and everything. Sometimes I watch him. I start doing it in practice. Everyone's like. <laughs> No, Rob, that ain't you. And I'm like, I was like, but I'm watching Aaron too much. <laughs> I'll say, Rob, uh, it shows in every game. He's a he's a freak, and uh, he's six six, two hundred sixty pounds, and uh, can can run in the four sixes. And there's not many that can do that, which is that's why we call him a freak. And uh, having that size and that athletic ability, it, it's tough to guard. And uh, and Crumpler, he just, he's the full package. He can run a route, he's smart, he knows how to attack defenders and uh, shows having four Pro Bowls and just his being able to block and at the point of attack he can ISO, so he, he's a complete package and uh, I'm still working to get to, to 
do things that both of them. Yeah, you're you're a young buck. You both got a long way to go, but I'm impressed with how how far you've come so quickly. Now the playoffs, big change in atmosphere and speed of the game. What's the one thing you need to tell these guys to get ready for this uh, for the first playoff game? Just prepare better and play better. I mean, every, you're always going to get the best effort of the team you know, that we're facing. You know, there are 20 teams that didn't get an invitation to the dance. Um, it's only six teams in the AFC, six teams in the NFC. Uh, we just got to stay focused, uh, locked in, do everything you can to help this team prepare and win and play on the field, period. I mean, that's it. This is it now.